Wow, the chatter is so many issues, so many plates in the air, whether it's tomorrow's number or what Fitch did yesterday or how much the markets move. Just consider this. The Fed raised rates a quarter point on the 26th. On the 27th, we had GDP much stronger. First look at second quarter. That's where this chart begins. So basically, twos for that whole run up to today are virtually unchanged, but tens I've moved about 30 basis points. Twos to 10 spread has gone from minus 100 plus to now under minus 70. This is huge. So many say, what's going on with higher rates? Well, there's a lot of channels, but I'll give you the easy one. The biggest curve trade in history was the twos to 10 spread and many spreads had inverted. Now you're looking at the other side of the mountain. And if you look at tens, four and a quarter on the 24th of October, high yield close, that is the whole thing. And if you look at 30s, it's 438 on the same section. Let's go talk to a trader, shall we? Hi, Jason. Hey, Rick, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Listen, so much to talk about, so little time. So it looked like equities had a minor reversal today, but they've had some agita of late. What are you looking at going into tomorrow's big July jobs, jobs, jobs report? Yeah, it's quite impressive how well uh, equities have held up today, you know, with uh, the, the cost of servicing the debt being a huge topic now. And uh, Fitch disagreeing and downgrading U.S. debt has made it more and more expensive. So the last time we saw this happen, we had a 5% sell-off. So this muted like 1% to 2%. It's, it's, it's pretty impressive that stocks have held up uh, with techs especially being the sector that uh, has done really well in the last couple hours. Now, if you had to pick a whisper number tomorrow, they're looking at 200,000-ish. And if you look at a chart of jobs, they definitely have come down a bit. What do you think for tomorrow, and how could it move the markets? Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to see uh, this market cooling down uh, right now. I, I think the number is probably going to uh, be impressive, and jobs are going to keep uh, being gained. So I think the Fed will have to, More the same. Yep, the Fed will have to make a decision based on uh, the cost of servicing debt versus the job economy and still And you nailed showing it, growth. Jason. That's all anybody is talking about, okay? People were saying Fitch is wrong. Okay, let's define wrong. In 2011, last time, there was a downgrade on the debt of the U.S., we're Fed funds, you know, zero to 25, quarter of 1%. Where are they now? Five and a quarter. Servicing debt is going to reach a trillion faster than any of us would like, and that is not a good thing. Carl, back to you.